Excuse me. Hi, it's Tuesday. I watch a Tasty Tuesday. Show us Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Oh, whoa. I look really cool, but whoa, it's kind of hot in here in this kitchen. I better take my. I just want to do a good job hoodie off. Link in the description. Link in the description. Whoa, cool. There was this neat t shirt underneath it. That's awesome. Where do I get one? Link in the description. Link in the description. Speaking of last minute gift ideas for people for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, do they give gifts on Kwanzaa? If not, you should because you're a good person. This week, I thought I'd do a video on a last minute gift idea. I've been doing these types of videos for the past. I think four Tasty Tuesday Christmas is and a lot of you said you liked it and it saved your asses So you're welcome for that I'll leave links in the description to those previous years last-minute gifts ideas if you want to check them out this year I thought we would do cookie in a jar recipe where you basically Fill a jar with things from your pantry and attach a recipe and give it to people and then they're on their own It's a way to say hey, I care but not that much co-workers would like this maybe your neighbor would like this maybe Maybe an acquaintance, maybe somebody that you just became friends with and you're not sure if they're gonna give you a present, but what if they did, you didn't want to look like a stupid fuck for not giving them a present back. So then like this would be a good present to give them. Or maybe you don't like them and you just wanna like use them for something. I don't know. I don't know how you operate in your life. Anyway, as always, I've never tried these recipes. I'm gonna show you the way to assemble it into a gift, and then I'm gonna try the recipe out to see if the cookies are actually tasty. Which in my opinion is not really your problem after you gave them a really cute gift, but just in case you wanna know. Let's make this dish. First, you are going to need a quart mason jar. Quart? Quart? I got this at Michael's for like a dollar. And then you're gonna wanna have like some sort of pretty ribbon to tie around it. Or maybe not, who cares? But I think it's nice. I chose gold because it's a very holiday neutral color. It also goes with my color scheme for my gift wrap this year. If you've been following along for many years, you'll know that I'm obsessed with gift wrap. The like number one thing I get excited about. That and all the alcoholic beverages that revolve around Christmas. Alright, we're gonna need a small bowl and then this is gonna be super easy to that bowl We're gonna add one and three-fourths cup of flour. You could also probably give somebody flowers. There's an idea Whoa, 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 there's so much flour and I'm wearing all black. I could really use an apron. Oh cool My favorite apron. It has so much cat hair on it. Just like I like it. Okay, one and three-fourths cup Done. We're doing three-fourths teaspoon baking soda and three-fourths teaspoon salt And we're just gonna stir all of those ingredients together in our bowl. Yeah Okay, do this until you don't want to anymore. Great. Now we're gonna put this into our mason jar. This will be the bottom ingredient. I wish I had a funnel. How do I? I'm gonna kind of make a funnel with this. This wasn't in the instructions, but I feel like it'll make my life easier. Sure. Oh, that's kind of working. Oh my gosh, I'm a genius. I saved that till the end because I never know if things are gonna work, but then when they work, I'm a freaking genius. God damn. So then we're gonna make it, you know, pretty. Make sure it's all like sift to the bottom. The rest of this is easy Japanesey. We're gonna do one and a half cups of chocolate chips. I have so many open bags of these chocolate chips. I don't know why my brain thinks every time I go to the store that I need to buy a new bag of chocolate chips. Cause I don't, but that's what my brain does. My brain's an idiot sometimes. And sometimes it's a genius. You just never know which one you're gonna get. One and a half cup. Also, you don't have to use mini chips. You can use full size ones. I just didn't go to the store. <laughs> this is literally from my pantry. I don't think this is gonna fit. Goodness. Okay, three-fourths cup of packed brown sugar. I don't know if I bought the right size jar. I'm getting a little worried it looks very full. Either it was mislabeled at the store or it's mislabeled on the recipe. Either way, I don't know how all these ingredients are gonna fit. It says to pack them down after each time. Packing it nice and tightly. Holy shit, please work. Okay, great. Look how cute it looks though. And lastly, half a cup of granulated sugar. Thank God this is the last ingredient. I honestly was just gonna start over and like do a new jar with half the ingredients, but we might make it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my, it's not gonna make it. It's not gonna make it. You know what? Maybe this has a little less sugar than intended. Make sure you're giving this present to someone like, you don't know them that well. Like if you lost them out of your life, it wouldn't make or break your life. Cool. So then we're just gonna put a lid on it if we can. Yes. And then is when you can like tie your fabric on so you don't get ingredients all over it while you're trying to fill the jar. But look, that looks pretty good. Maybe do less chocolate chips. I don't know. Make your life easier. Okay, so after you have all your ingredients in there, you 
have your little bow on there. I took a little piece of wrapping paper and wrapped it around a card stock and then I printed the recipe out. I'll leave the recipe in the description if you want to copy paste it somewhere and print it out. I'll also leave the link to the original place I got the recipe from so you can check that website out and basically I just got some cord stuff and killing it. And then yeah, look at that. It looks so cute. Are we cute? I think we're pretty cute. I mean you could add better ribbon. You know, you do you. So that's the gist of it. Then you just give them away to people that you um, want to suck up to and then uh, they make cookies and think you're a nice person. Congratulations. Slabber high. Now if you want we can see if these actually taste good and follow the recipe that was given with it. So if you want to find out, keep watching this video. I'm curious to see if the recipe works. So what we're going to do is preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Boom. Make sure you got a uh, cookie sheet out. Give me two cookie sheets. Oh, then you are loud. Is it necessary? Okay, so now to see if this recipe works. We're gonna take three-fourths cup of butter, softened. That's one and a half sticks. I'm using Earth Balance. These are from the fridge, so I'm gonna put them in the microwave for like 15 minutes. No, not that long. 15 seconds. Told you, sometimes my brain is an idiot. 15 seconds. Don't put it in the microwave in foil. Don't learn the hard way. Why not to do that? Just trust me. Oh, shit. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot for like two seconds. All right, well, this is kind of softened, kind of melted butter. Put it in your bowl. I'm using a stand mixer bowl. You can use a medium bowl if you want. One large egg or I'm using a mashed ripe banana. Did you know that could substitute an egg if you're out of eggs or you don't need eggs or you don't want to use eggs? I know, this shit is bananas. Is that the first pun that we did this episode? That's sad. You know what, I'm just gonna mash it in with the melted butter. Why not? And 3 4 teaspoon of vanilla extract. <gasps> Whoa, you saw nothing. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna mix this until blended. All right, get out of here, stand mixer. Time to shine. I'm still new at this. I don't quite know which attachment to use, but last time I used this one and everyone yelled at me, so I'm gonna use this one. See what happens. Oh. You need to plug it in. Okay. Much better. Yeah, I think this attachment's the right one. Faster. Okay, moment of truth. We're gonna add our cookie mixture to the, this mixture and hopefully it makes good cookies, you know? We're all on the same page. Cheers. Oh wow, this shit is packed really tight. I got my ribbon all dirty. Whoever packed this did a really good job. It was me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, whoever you give this to still kind of has to do a lot of work. What a great gift giver we are. Giving them the, the joy of cooking. I like this. I think it's ready. Let's taste the dough. That's pretty good. Tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough. We're killing it. It tastes a little bit like bananas, which would probably taste good in chocolate chip cookie dough. Yeah, it does. All right, cool. I think we're ready to like make cookies with it. Thank you, stand mixer. You did such a fine job, an excellent job, a wonderful job. Oh yeah, we're making cookies with it. Okay, so now we're gonna put rounded tablespoons onto a cookie sheet, a non-greased cookie sheet. I put parchment paper down, but I don't think that counts as it being greased. Supposedly this makes 30 cookies, one for each day of December, unless you are PMSing and then it's just for one day. I think these are bigger than rounded tablespoons, but I really don't care at all. Like I don't at all care. Like if somebody yelled at me for that right now, nah, I wouldn't care. These are like rounded tablespoon and a half. So maybe we don't get 30 cookies and maybe it's better that way. Probably better that way. Okay, now we're gonna bake these in the oven for nine to 11 minutes. <coughs> Thank you. I'll check them at nine minutes, but they have to be golden brown. No other color will do. See you in nine minutes. Hello, it's been 11 minutes now and I think our cookies are done. I checked on them at nine minutes and they weren't quite ready yet, but I think maybe now they're looking pretty golden brown. Yeah, I think so. Wow, they got big. You gotta space these, these out. What were you thinking putting them so close? Okay, okay. Okay. We need to let those cool off for a while. I don't know how long, but you know, a little while. Also, while you were sleeping or whatever you were doing while they were baking, I figured out how to pack this in the jar correctly. So, turns out if you pack after each layer, like you really make sure it's packed in there, there's enough room for all the layers. And there's like, you know, it doesn't go all the way up to the top. Excuse me. I'm trying to show the people. Oh my goodness. See? There's lots of room. Cool. Now to see if the cookies taste good. I'll see you in like 10 minutes after these cool off. Sexy shot of this. Wow. 
I'm not eating a cookie right now. Wow, that's pretty. You did a good job. Dang. Hi, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, what's that? You would like to go inside of my body? Oh, all right. I'm married, but okay. Okay, I gave these babies like 20 minutes to cool down. They're a little bit flat, but I think they would be not as flat if you used an actual egg. I just am not an expert at egg substitutions, but I think maybe if you used an egg or if you used like a leavening agent, I googled it, then um, maybe it wouldn't be so flat, but that doesn't affect the taste or it shouldn't. Holy shit, these are amazing. These are really, really good. You're a good friend if you made that, although you really just gave them a pre-prepared cookie mix that they still have to bake, but you're a really good friend and you should be given a lot of credit for that. I think this is a really cute gift idea, if I do say so myself, and it's aesthetically pleasing to me. If I were to receive this, I'd be like, man, what a nice thought. Also, I don't know if you trust my opinion on these. I think they're very tasty, but um, Steve is asleep. <laughs> It's almost midnight and he fell asleep while I was baking these, so I'll have to get his opinion in the morning if you would rather have his opinion. I think these are delicious. They're a little too delicious because I feel like I'm gonna eat all of them, but yay, we did it! Taste the Tuesday! You fell asleep last night. I did, man. I was freaking exhausted. Try a cookie! Okay, just any old cookie, huh? Just any old cookie. Oh! <laughs> Um, you fell for it. Is there cranberry in this? No. It doesn't taste just like a regular chocolate chip cookie to you? <laughs> no, it's got like a slight fruity taste to it. Oh, I used a banana instead of an egg. That's what it is. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. Right? right? Yeah. Okay, so the, the Tasty Tuesday was about making these beautiful gift jars for people so that they can just put this in a bowl with some butter and there they have a cookie. That's cool. Yeah. They're really good. How would you feel if you got that as a present? I, uh, you know, I'm like, okay, thank you. Right, that's exactly the, the gist of it. Yay! I so think you would like that. Yeah. If somebody over accepts this gift, if they're like, oh my god, thank you, you'd never talk to them again because you know that they're liars. <laughs> All right, Tasty Tuesday. Subscribe if you don't miss any of this. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.